All right, I bought some chopped meat this sorry ground beef this morning, which was not on sale, which I didn't like, but they hadn't had it in store in a while, so I got it, and I got the big pack. So I have about 17 or 18 hamburgers that I made out of about three pounds of um, burgers of the chopped meat package, and I made them a little bigger than a ping pong ball, not as big as a softball, and then I kind of flattened them out. But what I wanted to show you was this handy dandy thing. This is a hamburger press. Now if you put the hamburger meat in here directly, it's going to be just one greasy mess. So here's how I solved that problem. First I take a piece of saran wrap or whatever plastic wrap you use, grab a hamburger, stick it in here. Now, I fold this over but I'm leaving some room on either side of the fold because once this is folded over, I'm going to press this out to the size of the circle. Then I'll put the sides in, throw this on top and press down hard. And there you have a perfect hamburger. These will be frozen individually. Uh, when they're all done, I put them all in a shopping bag, um, grocery bag, and then stick them in the freezer. These can go directly from the freezer to the frying pan because they're nice and thin and they cook up in about 10 minutes. And you can take out as many or as little as you want. And if I'm making tacos, I can just throw three of them in the pan and break them up. But this way they're all ready to make and it comes out great that way. You don't have to deal with one big chunk of frozen hamburger. They're all ready. So, if you can get one of these things, and you can find them in the dollar store sometimes, and you see it stays nice and clean because I'm using the plastic wrap, these are great. Get one, try it out, you'll be very happy that you have it. God bless you.